110 watt folding solar panel from EcoFlow. As I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, as part of the purchase for the River 2 Max, I was able to get this solar panel for free, which is what made the River 2 Max a really good deal. This will be the second folding solar panel that I own. The other one I have is the 200 watt folding solar panel from Bluetti that I recently just got as well. Now I'll be adding this 110 watt folding solar panel from EcoFlow. Now before I unbox it, a little tidbit, they've got handy instructions here printed on the back of the box on how you can angle and set up the solar panel. I'm pretty excited, so let's just get right into it and unbox it. How about that? A box inside a box. <laughs> Ooh, nice. So, first of all, we've got a rice bag. Very important. Looks like we've got the instruction manual and four carabiner clips, which that'll come in handy to be able to secure it down to something in case it's windy outside. All right. Lots of cardboard. And there it is. This is very nicely made. The material feels almost like a car seat fabric yeah it's feels nice and then you can also see i don't i'm not sure if it is waterproof i i wouldn't be surprised if it is but you can kind of see this zipper the way it's made it's as if it's waterproof zipper which is very nice and more than just water it's great for keeping dust out and of course can't forget we've got our carry handles with a little doodad here to lock it shut. It's not super heavy actually. This would be a great transportable item. Oh, how about that? When I opened the Bluetti 200 watt folding solar panel, it doesn't come with an external case. The case is built inside of it. It's an all-in-one unit. So I was kind of expecting that to be the case here, no pun intended, but it's not. This is an external bag here, and then we've got the panel itself. I'm noticing the bag, this side is firm and solid, while this side is, there's, there's nothing inside of it. I guess they do that to give it some structure. Oh yeah, and I, I think this, this case is also part of the structure for the solar panel to set up. So this is the actual size of the panel itself. Go ahead and unfold it. There's one panel, two panels, and ready, four panels. Wait, one, two, yeah, four panels. Pretty nice. I think maybe I, me personally, I would have enjoyed instead of four separate panels maybe two or three panels at the most and have it be a little bit wider instead of longer i think i would have appreciated that more but nevertheless this is what it is looking at the panel we've got tie down anchors there's two four six eight there's eight of these tie down anchor points that you can clip onto it and secure it to something. And up here, we've got the trusty dusty MC4 connectors, <clears throat> positive and negative. Let's undo these and see how long they are. So it looks like they are the same length. They're probably about three feet long on each one of them or one meter. I like that because sometimes either the positive or the negative side is three feet long and then the opposite side is only like one foot long. And I'm not sure why some solar panel companies do that. So I do appreciate that, that both of the cables are equal length. It definitely feels like a quality panel. Even, even the panel itself also has some of that same, well, it's, a probably, it's probably a different material, but it, it's some of that same nice material. We've got the four carabiners. They seem like they'll get the job done well. They don't seem very cheap. Let's try and set this up with the carrying case to see how that would work. 
outside. So they want you to take the carabiners and hook them onto the case. The important thing is they want you to have the stiff back raised vertical and then the soft side for the horizontal portion. The idea is to hook onto the panel at these points here so the top's on. Obviously, if, if the panels are on the ground, you can set it up so it holds at 90 degrees. And then these bottom ones, they hook on as well. So if these were on the ground, then you could be angling them at whatever angle you want at the sun. It's a little hard for me to do it right here, but if you want to adjust the angle, you have to zip up the case. If you zip up the case, it'll make it tighter for the panel on bottom. And then that way you can adjust the angle of the panel. It's a little bit more awkward than Bluetti's strategy where they just have two or three kickstands on the back of the panel that just pop out. And it's pretty simple. I can already see how much of a nightmare this could be setting this up day in, day out. But it's not, it's not too bad. Let's try and find some specs. 12 month warranty card but you have to keep the original packaging and accessories okay for the specs of this panel rated power is 110 watts give or take 5 watts open circuit voltage 21.8 volts running voltage 18.4 volts short circuit current 6.5 amps running circuit 6 amps efficiency 22.4 to 22.8 percent this is a monocrystalline silicon panel with the MC4 type connectors. The weight of the solar panel is 13.2 pounds, which is right in line with the River 2 Max, which weighs 13.4 pounds. Pretty close in weight there. Oh, and I should specify, that's the, the total weight, including the carrying case and whatnot. The actual solar panel itself weighs 8.8 .8 pounds. And the unfolded dimensions of the panel is 16.5 by 70.3 by one inches. And when it's all folded up like this, it's 16.5 by 18.9 by one inches. Mm -hmm. Frequently asked questions, does the 110 watt solar panel generate a full 110 watts of power? And they list four different factors, but essentially light intensity, surface temperature, sunlight angle, and panel shading. You want to be aware of those four factors to be able to harvest the most amount of electricity possible. Now it's saying under normal conditions, you can typically expect about 80 to 90 watts of power from this 110 watt panel. Now, a couple other questions. Can I use non-EcoFlow branded power stations with this 110 watt solar panel? Yes, but only certain types. The power station used must be compatible with MC4 standards in order to work properly. There you have it. That's EcoFlow's 110 watt folding solar panel. I know EcoFlow has a couple other different variations. This is just one of a few. My first impressions of this solar panel, it seems to be high quality, it's not super heavy, and it comes in a, in a great package. It's a good panel. If this is the one you want or that you already got, this is what you can expect in the box. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.